Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. I'm Ketrock, Master League Terran, and I post about four or five YouTube videos a week, uh, commentating my own ladder matches. So if that's something you'd be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you'll get all the videos you want. And we got to skip a pro dust opponent here and I totally misclicked that mineral patch. Alright, things are back on track. Go ahead. Bad news. Not enough minerals. SCB ready. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. In the rear with the SCB ready. <laughs> So I like to play two racks versus uh, Protoss. I scout with my first Marine. Um, and depending on what I see, I'll decide when I'm going to go like pretty much all in against them. Not always all in. Uh, if he fast expands, I'll all in him. Otherwise, uh, I'll do a 10 minute uh, attack with an SCV pull, but I'll still leave my main base saturated. I like to get my second racks before my orbital. It's not quite as economical, but it's a little bit better if he fast expands. And fast expanding, I think, is the best way to deal with this 10 minute push, so I like to have a backup plan versus it. What's going on? SCV ready. Yeah, yeah. Bad news. I can throw a Python on my command center in a second here. Big job, huh? Huh? SCB ready. I suck. <laughs> Go ahead. SCB ready. That again. Ah, you scared me. Yo, what's going on? All right, I gotta give up on this. <laughs> In the rear, SCB ready. Ah, you scared. This better be good. I feel you. Go ahead. Not enough minerals. Uh, I've built the wrong add on meant to do a reactor there, so I guess what I'll do is I'll build another barracks. Not enough minerals. Since every Not reactor enough barracks minerals. also have two naked barracks. Not enough minerals. 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 I do have the Chrono Boost energy. It's high, so this could be an aggressive play, but I always already thrown down two barracks, which is weird. SCV ready. It's about to get heavy. In the rear, we go, go, go. Not enough minimum. Go ahead and throw down bunker. Armed and ready. Not enough minimum. Research complete. <laughs> yep. You want to be the me, boy? My second guess, maybe another. Barracks and stem we need. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Go, go, go! I made a lot of deterrent from coming in, so I can actually Not salvage that bunker minerals. just so I can buy more stuff. Not enough minerals. Yeah. By the numbers, boys. You gonna give me orders? Let's have a blast. I feel ya. Why not? SCV ready. This better be good. Orders. Go ahead. 
Academy. I'd like to have a single ghost. Oh, it's on. Not enough minerals. Just kind of taking a peek, looking around for proxy pylons. Still feel like that might be aggressive. It's hard to tell because you build a second barracks or a second gateway early, so maybe it's forgot to use this chrono. So that's not typically what to do for like a four gates or for a void ray three gate play. Gangway coming. SCV ready. I'm gonna go now with Stim. Um, just because I don't know if he expanded. I'll take a handful of SCVs too. Like my macro stuff there. What's my money at? Three hundred. Could be worse. Out with it. In the rear, I also feel like I could get counterattacked here. So I'm gonna throw bunker. Yep. SCV ready. You want a piece of me, boy? Let's have a blast. Come again. SCV ready. Gangway, coming through. Add on complete. It's go time. I did get the fast expand, I didn't kill it, but I did kill a lot of uh, probes, and I think I even killed my army than he did on top of the probes. Just SCV ready. Oh, it's on. Armed and ready. SCV ready. Base is under attack. Ready for dust off. SCV ready. Is under attack. You want a piece of me, boy? All right. Gangway coming through. Ready for dust off. Come again. SCV ready. Orders received. What's going on? Go. It's go time.
Another EMP ready? I assume I did, right? Oh well. Replay saved. So that... Um... Went okay. Um... I kind of had a scouting failure in that I didn't understand what I saw. So I just kind of did a in-between... Maybe I'll push now sort of idea. I never do a timing push with my stim, but I figured maybe it was a good idea at this point because I wasn't sure if he took an expansion or not. So you spelled this chrono and probes. Now he's just not spending at all. He's not spending on warp gate, he's not spending on probes, he's not spending it on his gateway. And then he gets a second gateway. So this is confusing to me. Usually if you get multiple gateways early on, um, that means you're going to be expanding, which means your chronobus energy will be low, but it's not low. So he hasn't been loading up on probes or gateway units to support the expansion. Um, and usually when the Chrono Boost energy is high, you just have the one gateway, and then you wait for Cyber and next core to finish, and then you start Chrono Boosting a Warp Gate. And then you go for a three gate uh, Void Ray, a three Warp Gate Void Ray, or a four gate, or use the Save the Chrono for the Void Rays if you're doing that. Either way, Save the Chrono usually means offensive. Multiple gateways early on usually means defensive. So I didn't understand what I saw. I got two pro kills with that rain, one in my own base, one over here, that's nice. Uh, I decide it might be a four gate, so I get at a bunker here. But then he pokes out, which not something you see from four gates, I don't really know. I decide to salvage a bunker to spill more units, uh, kind of hunt around for epoxy pile and just in case it's aggressive. And then once I don't see any proxy pylon, I'm going to assume it's not aggressive, which means probably an expansion. So in my head, I'm like, okay, then I'm late. Uh, normally I would have hit an expansion by now, but full time it was stim. So bring in the production tab here. You can see my sim is just about to finish. So here we go, bring some SCVs along, just to tank. Auto repairing SCVs on attack mover were pretty good at tanking, so they repair each themselves. See, they just become this clustered ball of repairing. So when he attacks, they just repair each other. Again, see they're all just kind of attacking that. Now uh, with medivacs over top, it's even better, but that wasn't an option to hit at this time. Side uses force fields against them, but he's smart and that, and he pulls back, and now the force fields are down. Uh, I decide it's worth another stim here, so I go with another stim. Realizing I probably can't kill that army, so I may as well just kite backwards and kill all the melee stuff. And he continues to push at me with probes since I'm putting back on minerals. I think I had more than enough to kill me. All my stuff is in the orange, so I should have put back on minerals earlier. So that made this attack worthwhile. And I go up to the sentries just before I die. Units lost, he lost a little bit more than me. Uh, army, he should be a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, he's bigger because I'd lost my entire army and I wasn't really macro during during that time. But I don't have that much stored up. I throw down Bunker just in case because I feel... Even though he took an expo, I feel he could come aggressive at me. Um, just because he lost a bunch of pros, but he still has a bigger army than me. And the fact that he just, he, at the end of that, he just evaporated the end of my army. So there's the proxy parallel, and it looks like he is coming my way. But I guess his observer spots the uh, bunker and thinks a little better of it. Uh, Ghost is really nice for this sort of defense. You know, when he's coming up the ramp, he's going to be clustered, so he gets a nice EMP target. And at this point, I'm just waiting for medevacs. Once my first two medevacs come out, I'm going to come back at him. I probably should have gotten combat shields because I could have had that complete in time for this push. 
kind of forgot about that, and I had the gas and minerals to spend, so that's a bit of a blunder there. Pretty big blunder, actually, because it would have cost me nothing. Like, there would have been no downside to getting that, except just having less money in the bank, which you don't need money in the bank. And with this many Marines, you know, if you got 20 Marines, that's an extra 200 hit points on your army. I'm thinking of salvaging this. You can see I have it highlighted, but I'm like, what am I going to even do? Spend this money on? <laughs> I have no way of spending it. Uh, you can throw down more production to get rid of this money. You can try to expand to get rid of this money, or you can just ensure perfect macro by like queuing up units in your s production stuff since you can afford to now. Looks like he spent a lot of money trying to get his pro count back up. Uh, you can see I killed 16 of his workers. So his income is bigger at this point. Mine says 1500, but that's probably because I got two mules down right now, right? Oh no, sorry, that's army tab. Income, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so his income is much bigger than mine at this point. He is back up to 42 harvesters, but he's been spending a lot of money on rebuilding harvesters, not so much on uh, Uh, building up his army, so you can see that army tab is going to look pretty well in my favor. Uh, looks like we're dead even, but I got um, $600 in SCVs on top of that, plus then, you know, I got a little bit better tech. I got stim and whatnot. He doesn't have any, like, special upgrades or any special units. He will have a Colossus just before this fight ends. Uh, this little pocket here, this is called the EMP zone. Wait till he steps into it. <laughs> Turn on an okay EMP. I guess that wasn't actually a great EMP. Felt like it should have been better considering you had to walk everything through that pocket. Doing a little kiting versus the Colossus. Take a handful of units, charge at him. If, he's, if he doesn't paying attention, you get the kill. If he is paying attention, he runs it away and takes it out of the battle, and all this time it's not attacking your clump. Allows your clumps to kill the rest of his stuff. Again, he comes in, go for the snipe, move forward between shots so he can't retreat. Cuts of shell obviously doesn't work versus Colossus, but if his reaction time is slow, you're in good shape. And I think I might have timed this attack perfectly. Switch my target back to the probes. Stim and attack, and look at energy on my ghost. <laughs> 74, that's just a like gut feel, like I was kind of waiting until my gut told me I'd have enough for an EMP. Yep, so boom, EMP right here, and then he's just lost energy on that sentry, and that's Stalker. Let's look at it from the Protoss experience. Uh, perspective really fast. Just to see what he was up to and what he could have done better. Uh, the the oh, Chrono Boost energy is obviously a problem. You gotta be spending that. He could have his pro count much higher. He could have an extra stalker out or something because he can Chrono Boost some more units. Like, he could have done the one gate fast expand and been in the exact same shape if he spent this chrono boost on the one gateway. Uh, he could have had the same amount of units, he just could have had this nexus down much sooner. Or if you wanted two gate and build units from those two gates, then you can spend those chrono boosts on probes. Or if you think I'm getting really aggressive, you can spend it on two warp gates, or on two uh, gateways to get lots of units early. So had I known what he was up to, I would definitely would have come here and crushed this as soon as it finished. But he did confuse me with that saved up chrono boost. Chrono boost is a way to like bend your build. Like if you're going an economic build, you can bend it more towards being aggressive. 
or, or getting more units, right? You can like cut your probe production. Just say you took a really fast nexus, say like a 15 nexus, and you feel like aggression's coming. Well, then you can start chrono boosting your gateways. You can cut your um, probe production, and all of a sudden you've bent this build with chrono using chrono boost. You bent it into a build that builds more, a lot more units. Or say you went 15 nexus and you scattered that the Terran went to one racks fast expand, and you're like, well, he's uh, going economic, so now I can bend my ability to be even more economic. I can spend all my chrono boost on probes and get both these bases saturated way faster than the Terran. It's a really useful tool, that chrono boost. Especially early on. Um, after that, it's really just meant for pumping out upgrades really fast and some emergency <laughs> chrono boost on your warp gates when you really need to get units out. Every time it's similar, it's like, oh, I hope this is worth it. This one definitely was. And Immortals on Marauders really hurt. I guess I had an option here. After I finished kiting those units. I could just run out this way and back home and use stim. Uh, this marauder would die for sure, but everything else looks like it can stim once more. And with stim, you can outrun your the Protoss. So I get all these units home safely in the red. Uh, then the first two medevacs, even though it'll drain most all their energy, will we can get these guys back to full. But instead I traded, like this Marauder is going to die no matter what, but instead I traded one, two, three Marauders and four Marines to kill two sentries. Which could be worth it depending on how you look at it. The nice thing about killing sentries is that Protoss needs sentries. So if he loses the sentries, he has to build more. So if he has at this point in the game on sentries, that means he's not building, spending it on upgrades. He's not spending it on Immortals and Colossus and Robotics Bay and Archons and all that stuff he wants to be spending gas on. Instead, he's forced to build three more sentries and blow 300 gas. So notice how we're, we're not seeing any activity out of this Robotics Bay. We're not seeing a Robotics Facility. We're not seeing a Robotics Bay. And also this way I don't have to heal up those units with my Medivac energy. I can use any Medivac energy towards my next attack. And who knows, if I fled this way, maybe he could cut down this way and uh, cut me off, kill me. It looks like three gate Robo, working on Robox Bay. Really cut his army production. Looks like he's been pumping probes nonstop. Like if we go back to say after that attack, at this point speed up. He gets one more immortal out, and that's two probes, two probes, two probes. Spending chrono boost some more probes. Replenish the sentries. More, more probes. More probes. More probes. Not teching, he's not building from his robotics facility, he's being not even really building from his uh warp gates. He's just trying to get that probe count back up. So this this worker kill count actually helps. It basically took eight hundred away from his army because he wanted to replenish all those probes. I mean now he's in great shape though. His economy is gonna be income's gonna be way higher than mine. Mine's only at eleven hundred because of mules. It'll drop back down to 700 in a second. He's up at 1,200. So things are going really good for him. But he wasn't able to build up his army during that time, so army tab is looking good for me again. Uh, I do like that he has picked one tech route. Like, I'm going to get Colossus. That's my thing I'm going to add on. Um, people who go, oh, I'm going to get double upgrades, and I'm going to, you know, get my... 
uh, what's that blink structure called again? I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, Twilight Council, so I can get either you know charge or something like that, and work towards Archons. I'll also be for my you know two two upgrades, and then I'll get a robotic facility and observer. And uh, then I'll get a robotics bay and get a colossus. Like if you go all these routes, you're just not going to have a big enough army. So I do like he's like um, I'm going to go warp gates and I'm going to go colossus. Uh, he really should have thrown down more warp gates before now, though. I guess he has one coming here, but you can see he's starting to stockpile all this resources because uh, he does have his economy up now to a point where he can really start spending it. So you probably want to be at like at least five warp gates in a robotics facility and he's not going to be there he's not even going to be a f he's not going to be five he's barely going to be at four it's only a four now definitely a spot where you can use that chrono boost again uh, he's got so much of it, you can just one, two, three, four, boom, and then you can bring in another four units really quickly. Uh, especially when you saw me passing here, he should have thrown the uh, chrono boost. List. Even when you're turning a warp a gateway into warp gate, you can chrono boost it to make that action faster. And dire straits like this, this is something you probably want to consider. Especially when you got so much, you got eight chrono boosts sitting here. No, sorry, four. Four chrono boosts sitting here. Probably another one over here, so like five. Got dry those medivacs there. Medivacs are so awesome with Bio, especially versus Protoss, because Protoss really doesn't have good DPS. All their units are low damage. Sentries do very low damage. Stalkers do very low damage, especially when they're attacking something that isn't armored. Um, zealots do good damage, but only when they're actually fighting, and at some time it's, it's harder to get them attacking with Concussive Shell and whatnot. See, I was cutting them backwards. If you scoop me with force fields, then you can get them in there. If you got charge, you can get them in there. If you have a combination of both, you can get them in there. Um, but the real damage comes from their splash damage units, namely Psionic Storm and uh, Colossus. But also Archons are nice too. Even Immortals are bad damage, considering how much they cost. Their damage output isn't great. Like their damage per dollar, we'll just call it that way, isn't good. Anyways, this now has gone on forever, so we will end this here. Thank you, everyone, and check the description for a thumbs up link where I link just something interesting in the StarCraft world. I think people like kind of appreciate that. Sometimes I do thumbs up facts where I'll put a little tip at the end of the video, but not this time. So anyways, we'll end this here. So hit that subscribe button, that favor button, and that uh, thumbs up button. That helped me out a lot. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye.